concluded today after 10 barbaric days resulted in the death of 10,000 or more dogs. The festival is just one small part of an enormous industry in China. Millions of dogs are killed there every year for their meat, many tortured before they die. Reality star and Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, Lisa Vanderplump, has made it her mission to stop this slaughter. She founded the group Vanderplump Dogs to do just that. Lisa Vanderplump joins us tonight, as does John Sesta, Vanderplump's dog executive director. Thank you both uh, for joining us tonight. So Thanks this thank you for the, having us. Thank you. The, the Dog Meat Festival, it's, it's, it almost doesn't sound real, and I, and I don't want to horrify our audience too much by describing some of the tales, but it, 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 just sum it up. This is really happening? Dogs are tortured okay. and then killed and then eaten at this festival? I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it when we first heard of it. I saw it on social media. And initially, when you think of a festival for dogs, you think of it as something celebrating dogs. When I saw the atrocities and the heinous activities that were going on there, I mean, I'm a normal person. I'm on television, I've got restaurants, you know, but it just motivated me to do something about it. So alongside with my husband, Ken Todd, and my partner, Dr. John Sessa, it's been our mission for the last two years. And we've done everything we can. We've exhausted every avenue. Um, John's actually going in the next day, um, 24 hours, to Yulin with meds. To deliver um, some medicine. Yeah. But we've Good had marches. We've had petitions. I've spoken at Congress. Um, We've, we're actually doing a documentary now that's due to be entered into the festivals, The Road to Yulin. But it's been a real mission because if you've seen what we've seen, and it doesn't like sound like you've seen half of it, I, the barbarity is astounding. John and, and I, have, that's what's motivated us. And you'll see in the, in the documentary, I mean, I've actually gone to slaughterhouses and we, we've been oh. to the festival. Um, so we've, we've seen it firsthand. I've surrounded trucks and taken them off the dog truck. So um, it, it's, it's really the things that we've seen and the things that I think I've seen firsthand, uh, it, it's something that you can't come back from. So it's motivated us to, to, to fight and, and fight every day for it. So And also, Tucker, some of these dogs, they're not just feral dogs. A lot of these dogs are people's pets. We've got evidence yes. of them being stolen off the street. They've got collars on. I mean, it's really a very depressing situation. Now, we would like to advocate, and that's what Resolution 4, 401 is, is about the ban of the dog meat trade because Taiwan have just come out and said they're banning it. But Good. Resolution 30 is about banning Yulin, and Yulin has been about the torture, which John and, has, you know, seen firsthand. And we've uh, we've paired up with Congressman Hastings. He's been a, a huge advocate for us on the congressional level, and and his Al whole Al staff Al Hastings is really, of Florida. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Al Hastings and his whole. St his whole staff has invited us uh, a couple of times to, to D.C. And, and really lobbied on the Hill for it. So we've, we've really tried so, to push it as, as much as we can. From well, and you, and you ought to. But let me, let me ask you. So you're going to China tonight. The Chinese government, from what I understand, has been in full support of this dog killing festival. How are your interactions with the Chinese government? Um, the last time I was in Yulin, I, I, I was actually kicked out by, by the Chinese government. So the... I definitely have to tread lightly when I'm over there, but I mean, I'm, when, when you're dealing with 2,000 sick dogs and I've got thousands of dollars worth of medical supplies, I, I can't, we can't not take action. Oh, it's just grotesque. And, and let me just ask one last thing, and I hate even to bring this up, but it's my understanding that the belief in China is that if a dog suffers, the more a dog suffers, the more beneficial the meat is. Is that, is that true? They believe that by the torture that it stimulates the adrenaline and makes the meat more tender. Also, it increases a man's sexual prowess. It's such a load of codswallop. But uh, yeah, that's the belief. But this festival's only been in existence a few years since 2010. 2010 yeah. It's not like it's some ancient tradition no. that we're treading it, on anybody's toes. And so, it, it, ought to be, yeah, it, ought to be it ought to be stopped. And I'm so glad that you all are doing this. can I just say, this. But the Thank most you. important thing is people contact their congressman and they support bringing Resolution 30 and Resolution 401. And if they want to donate to our cause, go to vanderpumpdogs.org. And we've actually opened our own rescue center here, the Vanderpump Dog Rescue Center, which has been Good for open you. three months. And we've already we've got adopted that, out 105 We've dogs. got all that information on our Facebook page. And so I hope our viewers will go there tonight. Lisa John, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tucker.